With two weeks left before the National Cricket Stadium comes alive, organizers say Grenada is ready to host the final test match between England and the West Indies. Teams will begin to arrive in Grenada on March 21st for the March 24th to 28th match. Tickets are now on sale and can be purchased online. There is a 50% discount for Caribbean nationals inclusive of Grenadians with a 75% discount for children and senior citizens. Persons interested in seeing the games must be fully vaccinated. Chairman of the National Organizing Committee, Troy Gavi, says it will be a complete package of a true Grenadian experience from the time visitors arrive at the airport. You see other agencies like the Tourism Authority that have been aggressive, that have been proactive, they have been working to do things to ensure that from arrival at the airport to departure, you have an experience. You have a true, rich Grenadian experience. So this time you'll be seeing outside the walls of the stadium, there'll be a fan zone. Inside you'll be seeing things of Grenada. You will have cultural displays. It's ironic that Spice Mass is months away. So we're also using this platform to showcase to the world that, look, Spice Mass is back. You know, so all these are things that is just working together nicely, coming together, and it will just unfold on the 24th of March. Gavi says the ripple effect of hosting the games here is already being felt by local businesses. Caribbean airlines have begun to open flights to fly persons to Grenada after the second test match in Barbados, and hotels are boasting of full bookings. Minister for Sports, Culture and the Arts, Fisheries and Cooperatives, Honorable Yulen Bean Hosford, agrees that this is good business for the country. People are so excited. I've been speaking to some of the hoteliers and some of the taxi drivers and so. And even the small community people, the vendors, you know, they've been calling to see where they can get a booth or where they can, you know, get how they can get involved. And, and it, there is an excitement out there. You know, they're looking at this, the economic spin-off. It might be, some, you know, be really good, I believe. And um, we all are, we all. And we, everybody is looking forward to this cricket. People are disappointed because they have not taken the vaccine. They have not been vaccinated. And that, you know, just last week, a couple of guys came to my home and they were saying, we want to come, we want, you know, use the minister now. <laughs> See if you could get me in. <laughs> So I was saying to them, when we are speaking to you, you should listen, you know, you must be vaccinated. That is, a, that is, you know, and it's not only Grenada, as, as Troy said, the, the, the Barbados, the, the three areas that the cricket is being played. It's the same procedure. So, you know, we are all excited. I'm happy that this is taking place in Grenada. I'm happy that we have taken up, you know, the opportunity to have it here. And we, you know, look at, we are all ready to go. Garvey commended the ground staff at the National Cricket Stadium for their hard work in ensuring everything is up to standard for the hosting of the Games. The West Indies will face off with England in hopes of winning the Richards-Botham Test Cricket Trophy.